What's going on guys, Joe's Reviews here, and today I'm going to be doing a teardown video of the Death Adder V2 Pro in order to fix the mushy right click. So what you're going to need for this is a screwdriver kit, uh, the mouse that you want to do this to, and some blue painter's tape. So moving right along, what you're going to want to do is get a flathead screwdriver or a plastic flathead of some sort to take off the feet here. Um, you're going to want a plastic flathead if you really want to keep the feet because I do find that the metal ruins them. So if you want to keep the feet and reuse them, definitely be careful. Here I kind of just rip them off because I'm not going to be reusing them. Next, you're going to need a Torx T6 bit to remove the bottom four screws in each corner of the mouse. Again, that's a Torx T6, which is, I guess, Razor's proprietary uh, securing mechanism. And then again, we're going to go with this bad boy with this tiny little flathead screwdriver um, to pry open the bottom. So you're going to want to go where the uh, the sides meet the bottom, not in the back, because you can really get a nice pry. Um, obviously, don't pry too hard as to break the bottom, but you do want to get those clips to unlatch, so you're going to need to use a little bit of force. As you can see here, I am struggling a little bit, but I do eventually get it open. And when you pull it open, there's going to be the little connector here that connects the side buttons to the PCB. Um, you're just going to want to remove that, but be careful not to pull too hard or you will damage the solder that connects it to the PCB. And then right here you can see that the clicking mechanism, it kind of clicks to the side. I think that's as a result of the, the shape and the design of this mouse. The clicks kind of move to the side, or the plungers rather, which is why I think these clicks feel a little bit mushy on the right side. Um, as you can see, these are the, uh, the V2 switches. So right here we're just cutting out some little strips of tape in order to apply them to the plunger to decrease the amount of space between the plunger itself and the actuation of the micro switch. So you're just going to want to cut out a strip that approximately looks the right size. And then what I like to do with the strip once I get it cut out is I will apply it to the plunger here. And so I'll apply it and then what I do is I will crease it right at the edge so that you know where to cut it. You can see here I creased it so that I have a, a cut point. From here, once you cut that little piece out, you're going to want to apply it to the plunger. And it could take more than one layer of tape to do this. And then when you're putting back the mouse together, you want to make sure to connect that side buttons back to the main PCB so that they function when you turn the mouse back on. And then you're just going to want to snap in the front. And then snap in the back. And here comes a little bit of a click test. And then you're going to want to put the screws back in and you're, you're all done. You apply your feet and the, uh, the process is done. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you like my content, uh, I'd appreciate a subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.